Welcome to Cisco Live, where music is alive. You can catch us when you want, or you can catch us when it's live. I am your announcer, Killer. The dragon. dragon. What? Did someone say something? Oh, okay. And with me, as always, is Smoke Black and DJ Mr. Lee on the ones and twos, giving you the cure for the quarantine blues. Letting you know what to do, what to do. Yo, fellas, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> I'll never try that again. And now, without further ado, Cisco. You don't get fired keep messing up the intro. What's up, what's up, what's up y'all? Cisco live today. We got a great show for you. Uh, Tank is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. We also got Fan Friday. We got my brother from another mother, Mr. Uh, Murder. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. McGee. He's coming through with that, time, with that time 10 for you, as well as the smoking section, the blackout, and the five on it mix. Right here on Cisco Live. Keep it locked. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Keeping R&B alive. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Cisco Live, where music is alive. You can catch us when you want to. You can catch us when it's live. I'm your host, Cisco. Dragon. Dragon. With me as always, my co-host, my brothers from another mother, Smoke Black and DJ Mr. Lee on the ones and twos, giving you the cure for the quarantine blues, letting you know what it do, what it do. Yes, we got a great sir. show for y'all today. We got Tank coming up real soon. But before we do that, we got my brother from another mother, Mr. McGee. B. Oh, and on, bro. Yes, sir. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm good, man. How about you? Oh, uh, man, I'm great. It's another day here on a nice little rainy day. We we good. Right, we good. right. What's up, Smoke Black? What's up, man? Can't call it, brother. Let's get it. Oh, uh, man, today I got a little plyometrics for you. This right here, this is this is a little advanced. Oh, you know I mean? oh, that's, I can see somebody, whole fronts coming out. Man. <laughs> I can can just miss, like, How many of that got to me? I can do that. It's, 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 it's plyometrics. Okay, it's so, you, so just down to the, hold up, let me see. We go down to your knees. We jump in three feet. Then okay. <laughs> I feel like I cheated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you jumped. Yeah, See, the jump is when people go, gonna lose all this coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Ooh. Yeah. Woo. See, I can do it too one time. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I, I, I did half of that one time. Mr. Uh, and I'm tired now. Listen, I want to what I that's what I learned from working out, right? I've been doing my little work the thing a little bit here and there. Um, when you was doing your jumps, you was pushing from your foot from from the from your heel, right? Right. Instead of the, the toes, that's it's some it's just that little uh it's a slight little difference. Yeah, yeah, gives you more gets you more out of the workout. Right, right. And but this workout right here, this is to help improve your strength, it help you jump higher, help you run faster, um, it helps strengthen your muscles up. Um this is just something. It took me a while to get to there. Um, I'm I'm really happy that I'm even at this point. You know what I mean? Uh, right. And um, it's a little advanced. It's a, it took. Uh, you can do uh, squats to help strengthen you to get to this point. That's what I did. I, I used a lot of uh, um, squats and um, advanced um, squats to get to this point. You know, but. Um, I'm just showing you a little advanced stuff. I've been showing you a lot of easy things lately, but I'm, right. I'm going advanced. Yeah, so we, it's the fast track 
to that uh, beach body because you know it's um it's about to start getting cold again. So before it do, you know you got to get out there and, and do do some of that advanced stuff. You are gonna bust your fronts? Just do it right on the on the front lawn. That way you can scoop your teeth up and take them back in the house. Hey right. Cisco. <laughs> hey Cisco. Cisco. Yeah. Between Tank and C McGee, man, they're gonna they're gonna make a motherfucker uh hurt itself, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, that's I'm, why you see I got my jacket zipped all the way up to the neck. <laughs> I got on a hoodie. <laughs> Yo, yo, let's, yo, let's yo, let's let's get that one minute workout when we get back. We got my man Lee. I'm waiting for you, man. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. Oh shit! Later. It's time for the percolator. 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 Percolator. That's good work, Jim. Good work. I vicariously worked out through you today, as usual. Thank you again, bro. Really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my Man. brother, Mr. McGee. Please let him know. Yes, you at the five at 10. Right there. Um, 89 C McGee on Instagram. Or you catch me on Facebook every morning. You know, I post after I do my Instagram um, workout. That's every what's day. Up. That's what's up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, when we get back, we got the man himself, Tank. Let's go. Let's go live. the A list of music, and no team does it better. Welcome to Cisco Live. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Cisco Live, where music is alive. You can catch us when you want it. You can catch us when it's live. I'm your host, Cisco. And as always, it's my co-host, Smoke Black, and DJ Mr. Lee on the ones and twos, giving you the cure for the quarantine blues, letting you know what it do, what it do. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, do... What's that? that was do, 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 do. Ladies and gentlemen, tank. <laughs> 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 Good looking out, man. Thanks for coming through, man. For you anybody hear me? who might yeah. live on a different planet and haven't got received the uh the, the, the signal, can you please let everybody know who you are? Well uh uh I am Tank Um aka um Man Candy, aka the machine, <laughs> uh, <laughs> aka Venom and Cinnamon, see what's in them, aka uh, <laughs> Hey, Tay, we didn't bring you on her to do all that, man. Come on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. For the ladies, man. For the ladies. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Play that. Come on now. You know when the saxophone come on, shit about to get tricky. <laughs> you already know. Oh, shit. Yo, I, I don't know if you if you checked out the show, Tank, but we have a, uh, we have um, Rochelle who, do, who handles all of our um, social media and she said that she wanted to oh. come through when you came on. So, oh. Rochelle, Tank, Tank, Rochelle. Hi. Oh, tank, light tank. skin. Oh, that didn't come out. <laughs> oh, he's singing me off. Oh, light skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, delivered some light skin oh, no. this afternoon. Yeah, oh, oh, light skin. Yeah. Oh, we love to hear it. Hi. How you doing, baby? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm awesome, man. I just got a little got what well, I got the first half of my workout in. I did an hour of cardio, and then you know, once we finish up here, I'm gonna go back do another hour and a half of you know getting that lift on. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I got it's always somebody, some young whippersnapper trying to take the oh, old school R and B. Uh, <laughs> they're always trying to take our spot. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Come on, this. 
So along with my vocals, I have to stay extremely, extremely muscular, you know, <laughs> and to stay ahead of these fools. Well, it's hey, working. It's, it's, it's already enough hard ankles on her. Let's, let's stop talking. It's, it's enough ashy niggas on her right now. <laughs> this is motivation. This is motivation for everybody. It's for, for me. I'm gonna do some squats after this because you know she the general said he's gonna work out. We got to work out. Get your squats so, on. So, so take take uh, aside from the music, we wanted to um to let anybody who who hasn't known about your um your acting career, can you please uh because I wanted to talk about stuff that 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 uh like I said, new fans might not know. Can you please tell them um, some of the projects that you've worked on in acting, as well as some that you may have coming up? Well, man, the acting part is 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 so cool, and especially the way I fell into it was like cool too. I mean, just you know, since we're giving backstories and information, I'd rather give you some insight into it and how I even got, you know, got in there, for, mm -hmm. so to speak. Um, we were working on the soundtrack for Dream Girls. Oh, wow. and. And so, you know, we're working closely with the director and, you know, everybody on the film. And, you know, me, I'm just a, I'm just a fool, man. I like to have fun, man. So every day when we're having these sessions and you got to imagine it's Beyonce, it's Eddie Murphy, it's Jamie Foxx, it's Jennifer Hudson. And I just feel like along with us getting all this work done, because it was a year plus worth, worth of work. Mm -hmm. let's, have, let's have some fun while we're doing it, man. So every day I got people busting up laughing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing characters. I'm making up characters. Wow. You know, having a good time. Wow. And and one day the director was like, "Man, you know what? You you should really audition for this movie, man." And I was like, oh, "Wow. I don't I don't know, whatever." And so I guess him and Harvey had a real conversation about it and Harvey came to me he's like, "No, he's really serious about you auditioning for this movie." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "All right, I'll try it." And so I ended up auditioning for the role of CC um which which came down to me and keith washington mm -hmm. um, oh. not keith washington um what's keith last keith robinson mm -hmm. it came down to me and him out of everybody in the world it came down to us too my first audition ever in wow. in hollywood wow and um the the feedback that i got on it is what is what pushed me into the space of really wanting to take acting seriously and mm -hmm. the feedback was that you know you didn't make any mistakes you there was no you didn't do anything wrong. You were just actually too much for the role. Mm. And, mm. and what happens in acting is that, which is what I had to learn, is that some roles are the roles. They are the roles where you have to kind of get out there and, 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 and stand on a hill and make that role uh, pop in a sense, you know what I'm saying? And really have a force, um, force yourself into the space of that movie. And there are roles that kind of help ride the current and the foundation of the movie yeah. in which you have to kind of step back, dial it down, you know what I'm saying, and play your role. Right, black you know guy saying? number seven. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> what, what do you say? I said black guy number seven. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta play your role. And so I hadn't, you know, it's, I'm new to acting. So, I didn't understand the idea of dialing down and playing your role. I was just trying to, I was trying to steal a role and if possible steal the movie. You know what I'm saying? So the artist mentality. I had to learn that, you know what I'm saying? And so it went from there, from that audition, knowing that I could do it to auditioning for so many other things. I actually ended up being in Dream Girls in the choir part. If you see me, I got an Afro and all sorts of wild stuff. <laughs> um, I ended up being that, I ended up uh, being, there's another movie that's like a it's like a church slash BET special called Preacher's, Preacher's Kid. Kid. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm in that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I, I, ain't in I remember <laughs> the role in, in the uh the TLC. Um the TLC uh was it the TLC biopic? New edition. New, new edition, edition biopic. Oh new edition. Yeah, and I played Gerald Busby. Funny right, about that. right. Funny right. about that. I thought you did a great job in that, man. Thank you, brother. Another learning moment where you know, I was supposed to play, um, I was supposed to play their manager. Mm. Mm. And you know how he is. He's very like, his power is, is he doesn't, he doesn't flex. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. just says, I need 10 more. Mm -hmm. And, and everybody says, okay, he needs 10, Stro needs 10 more. And that's it. And they get to it. He don't say, I need 10 more. He don't, that's not it. Right, right, right. So for right. me, walking onto the screen with all my muscles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> And, all, and 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 it was like, 
I I couldn't. Chris Robinson said, I can't dial you back <laughs> so enough to play this part. He said, but when you just read Gerald Busby at the table, mm. read, it connected. And uh, I was like, it's crazy that you say that because Gerald Busby is the one who made it possible for me to stay in L.A. Wow. wow. I, I had a week wow. left at the LaMontrose Hotel. Y'all know about the LaMontrose. Y'all know about, <laughs> yeah. y'all know about, y'all know about yeah. the strawberry yeah, and like the cookie like on the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> I had a week left. Uh, I had a car. I had a car, a GS300, Lexus, you know, platinum edition. You feel me? Um, <laughs> Let them know. Listen, my car note was $1,000 and I had $900 in the bank. Okay. Oh, man. That's how in I In LA, we're going to make it work. That's how he I was broke out of the Living on the edge. We love to see it. Uh, and Gerald Busby, I was working with some, I was working with DreamWorks. Um, and Gerald Busby that week bought two records from me for wow. 17,005 a piece. Wow. So, so you know the first thing I did. Yeah, I, yeah. I went I went down to Globe Tires on La Cienega and I got some rims. <laughs> my car. Right, right. Because you can't be in LA without no rims. You can't. That's you right. Can't. Don't do it to yourself. Two thousand. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, right. well, we 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 we, we want to ask you like two more questions before you go. We're gonna take a quick musical break. When we get back, we got actor, producer, songwriter, singer, performer, Tank, ladies and gentlemen, right here on Cisco Live. Just the way you like it. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Well, welcome back to Cisco Live. Where music is alive, you can catch when you want. You catch when it's live. I'm your host, Cisco. Thank you. Thank always, my co-host, Smoke yeah, Black, DJ Mr. Lee on the ones and twos. <laughs> Give me the cure for the quarantine blues. Letting you know what to do, what to do. We got Tank and Rochelle in the building. Tank, so you were talking about um, songwriting, and I was hoping um, that you guys. Oh, oh, there you go. YouTube.com slash Cisco Live. Please subscribe and like and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we ended up we ended up doing this because you know um, we we are basically somewhere different around the world every week. And when the you know whole pandemic hit, we was just pretty much stuck in the house. So I just like scraped all all my awards off upstairs and bought them downstairs and just started you know <laughs> started just just filming like you know we're gonna hit the people live right here until we can get them live uh, in person again. So I was uh, asking you on a songwriting tip, is there any um, tips that you can give for some of the young songwriters out there? And how did you cope with this whole, you know, quarantine and pandemic scenario? Well, I mean, I, I learned songwriting from a different place, right? I was, you know, I was raised in church, you know, so songwriting for me was never like, I mean, there are different, many different approaches. So I'm gonna just speak from speak on mine. Songwriting for me was never a mystical type thing like songwriting for me was always firsthand experience mm. you know what i'm saying so in the church like when you singing something and you expressing something they got to know that it's real you know what i'm saying or the mothers on the front row will fold mm-hmm. their arms and sit on mm-hmm. the motherboard their motherboard will sit on you they know when there ain't no conviction they know when you ain't and, lean, and lean back yeah. <laughs> yeah. right right <laughs> and, mm-hmm. and you know and you know when they say take your time you ain't doing a good job I heard exactly <laughs> I, I heard take your time a whole lot. So I had to, <laughs> I had to make some adjustments. And so it's all right. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and so moving over into R and B and having, you know, having far away mentors like uh Babyface mm. um and like R. Kelly and like guys who spoke the truth about what they were going through in their situations. And I said, wow, maybe, maybe I can try that. Maybe I can just try the truth and see what happens. And so when I wrote the song, Maybe I Deserve, Mm -hmm. um, I wrote it down on the napkin while me and my girlfriend were arguing. And she said, you know what? I just wish, I just wish that I could do and get away with everything, everything you getting away with. Maybe you deserve for me to go sleep with somebody. Maybe you deserve. And I said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, the truth will set you free. Do, what, and I, yeah. what? And so think about this. I put out a first record called Freaky. They want to get really freaky with me. They want to be. I was trying to be the dragon, right? And, 
and 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 apparently I'm not the dragon. It didn't work, right? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I got a million more push-ups to do too, bro. <laughs> so I'm, and listen, I'm out there dancing, doing somersaults. I got fire breathing on my back. Like, <laughs> and, and my career almost ended before it started. Oh man, out there trying to be the dragon in junior wide. No, I'm not yo, that. That's no tight. No tight. I was. Uh, you know, we worked. I, I was the blessing. The co yeah, on your first on your first album, man. Uh, what, what, mm-hmm. what? And um, I always knew you was gonna be from the time I met you. You know what I'm saying? When Cliff introduced sure. us, you know what I'm saying? I always mm-hmm. knew that you was gonna be okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I was walking in Target one day, man, and um, I was listening, and um, you did a cover, the cover, um, the Bonnie Wright. I can't make you love the, me. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Yes, sir. I heard uh, that. I was walking. I was like, "Is I'm gonna t- I'm gonna say exactly what I said." You know what I'm saying, Cisco? I know I cuss too much, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what I said. I said <laughs> crazy, and I didn't mean crazy in a bad way. Like I like, if I hadn't heard her version, I would have thought you wrote that also. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have a way of uh, interjecting the yeah. into the music. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's I think that's one of your biggest things, man. Um, you mm. cannot come away from um, a Cisco show, a Tank show, uh, a, a Drew Hill show, or even I'll even throw play in a, a player show without feeling something because we saying exactly what we feel at that moment. Um, mm-hmm. And I just want to say, man, I appreciate what you've contributed to um, to um, music. You know, we go back 25 years at least, you know what I'm saying, through Aaliyah. Yeah, uh-huh. I was talking to you on the phone the other day when I was at the Slowly um, – Watch this. It's, I got to tell this quick story. Is it the slowly? <laughs> so, um, I didn't. When you're in LA, you have to know where you at at all times. I don't Fact. get it. Damn. <laughs> From 86 to now, you still better know where you at, right? So, Fact. the same slowly video, and I dip off. I can't get no services. Where we was at, I couldn't get no service. I had to call. I'm going on the call, check on the, the, the kids or whatever. So, I can't get no service. So, I go to a pay phone. And I see this Mexican dude keep coming out looking at me all crazy. Now, mind you, I got on what we consider a cuz blue jogging suit. It was the Fubu? Fubu just came out with the, the, the fat, fat boys with the fat uh uh fat hey, hey, hey. Fat yeah, no fat Albert, fat Albert, and all them on there. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So um, he keeps looking at me. And I'm like, yeah, what's dude keep looking at me for, man? So I'm getting a little nervous. So he keeps coming out. So finally, I guess he came out and he was like, man, yo, homie, what set you from? Ooh. And I I'm from Kentucky. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, right? We don't say what set none of that. So I'm like, man, I don't know what you're talking about. And he was like, no, nah, homie. He even said, blood, no, nah, blood, what's that you from, homie? And I said, oh, shit. I'm telling my, my <laughs> mom, I'm going to have to fight. So I know I ain't have no weapon on me, and I don't know if he got a weapon. So I say, it's it's old school phone receiver. It's going to put all kind of knots on dude's head. This is going to where I need to go. You know what I'm saying? So he ended up hearing me talk, and he was like, oh, you ain't from here. I was like, no, nah, bro, I'm from Louisville. He's like, he explained to me, you know, he was basically checking me, you know what I'm saying, to see what, what's up. You know what I'm saying? And um, when I got back to the – Man, you, you want to take my jacket off right now. <laughs> I found out how fast I was, man, because as soon as he went back in that store, shit – Nigga, man, listen. I got back. To, I got back to the video shoot. I, I, I left my rental car and everything. I was Flint. Flint, go back get my rental car. Flint, you go back get the car. He's like, what the car? I was like, man, look, it's locked. Man. I ain't got that. That's but, facts. Tank, Tank, where you um, what, where you originally from? I'm originally from Milwaukee. What? But, yeah, I'm, I'm originally Milwaukee, but I was raised in Maryland, DC. So you know, oh, what I'm saying that's okay, dude. You know, you it, know, you know, um, butter. Who uh who absolutely in love her? Yeah, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. They from Milwaukee. Oh, from Milwaukee. And, um, and yeah, man, and, and the DMV. Shout out to DMV. Be more. What part of wait? What part? Say it again. What, what part, part of, of DMV? Of the DMV. Oh shoot! I, when I first moved to Maryland, I was in Forestville. Oh, so PG then, County. Okay. PG County. Then oh, we went to then we went to Andrews Air Force Base. To PG County. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up that's, in Temple Hills. Hey, that's so. that's that's what all all the, all the girls is in PG County. You know what I'm yeah. saying? During my time, they went to, they went to Oxon Hill and Largo. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You know, you know the whole rundown. Oh, I know the whole rundown. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Hold up, but then I went to college for like a month and a half at Morgan State in Baltimore. 
At where? At, 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 uh, at Morgan State. Okay. Yeah. From oh, Morgan yeah, yeah, well, I got a full, <laughs> I got a, I got a full scholarship on music, right? Uh -huh. And so I thought I was gonna use my music scholarship to play football. I was gonna sneak and play football, wow. and 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 they required they they scheduled all my scholarship classes during football practice, uh -huh. and, and I was like, y'all sick. Uh -huh. hey, listen. And then they start giving me homework like English and math, <laughs> right? And I was like, like, who, I was like hey, who y'all who y'all talking to? Right, yeah. what they do at that? What they do that at? Yeah. I came here to do music and play football. You right. want me to learn some more? Wrong, <laughs> wrong. Hey, I'm gonna holler at you. Yeah. Hey, right. I'm gonna holler at y'all. Yo, hey, we ain't gonna keep you too long. Tank, we got two more questions. One, on, one question is from Rochelle. Rochelle, you said you had a question, and the yeah. other question is from DJ Lee. Well, yeah, so, I, lady I, first. Okay, well. Shoot, since I'm a lady, I got two questions. One gonna be a real quick answer, and then the other one you can give how you feel. But the one question is: When is Sex, Love, and Pain gonna be back streaming on streaming platforms? Because that was my everybody is looking for that. And then two, Brandy just dropped an album. Oh, we know you great. love you some Brandy, and I want to know how you feel about the album. If you've uh, had a chance to listen to it yet, the first part, um, Sex, Love, and Pain being back um, in the market, streaming, physical. Um, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm I'm getting ready to surprise you. Oh, that's okay. all I, I like surprises. Okay, that's, that's all I can say. Um, okay. to the second I saw, part, I saw you was holding up a plaque. Was that for that album? No, no. Uh, before it could go platinum, it got pulled because oh because, that because, old trick. No, no, no. It was some legalities involved. So. Right? Th yeah, yeah, no. We we, yeah, we had one of those of, happen to us before. So I was close. I was like eight hundred thousand. I was close. Yeah. So, but um, today you know, that's bananas. But guess what? When, man. I got this. Just, just, just keep praying with me. Some, some, some blessings gonna happen. Um, in terms of brandy, um, in terms of the vocal Bible, or or at least a few chapters in it. Amen. Um, <laughs> um she is. Uh, I, I listened to the first. I think three songs that were available, and then they hit my because I pre-ordered it. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the wow. other songs released earlier and I was, I was actually going to play it during my workout. So I haven't played the whole thing yet, mm -hmm. but DJ camper is one of my guys. Like I'm, I'm expecting greatness. I'm not even worried about it. And, you know, I say that to say this, like, you know, me pre-ordering that, like, is just how I get down with R and B music. It's how mm -hmm. I get down with, you know, I go on the R and B and soul, uh, genre list every Friday and I just see what's out. Mm -hmm. And I just buy stuff, man, and I just support it. And there's people That's that I don't even know. I'll post them on my gram. I'll hit them. I'll hit them up and say, "Man, you dope, man. Send me something or whatever oh, to God. keep the to keep the cycle going, man. Because mm -hmm. us as elders, mm -hmm. we got to give that motivation and mm -hmm. give that energy exactly. to the next generation so that they know it's okay to, to do R and B music. It's yeah. okay to sing. Right, it's, right. It's, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be transparent. Mm -hmm. It's okay because R and B makes money. R&B has, you can have Humming. a career doing yeah. R and B music. You understand what I'm right. saying? So, um, uh, back to Brandy. I expect nothing but greatness from Brandy, man. And, right, and, and, and right. That's that's where I stand with that. Okay. Right. It's Yo, that, it's, uh, that, last, that, last question from Lee, Mister Lee. Speaking about the whole singing thing, it was just more of a story. And I got one thing that's going to throw you off. I'm going to say it to the end. So this is back in H&M. It's the, uh, the, uh, the, the back in the record store days. I remember Ooh. I went into on 125th Street in Harlem. Something else was playing when I came in. And your intro came on for your first album where you were just singing. <laughs> I remember I was in. I was looking at whatever I was looking at. And then it was playing. And I was like. <laughs> yeah. Who is that? They went up, they checked. I was like, "Oh, this is Tank." I was like, "I'm gonna need that album right now." Right, 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 right. right. Ever since, so thank you for that. Yes, and, sir. Um, wild story: Greystone oh. and Emerson the uh, Theater. I don't know if you remember Greystone Manor in L.A. The club. Of course, Greystone. Of course, of yeah. course. I don't know if you remember. Greystone and Emerson Theater, the head of security that used to look out for you. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> yep. Emerson Theater, I remember you showed up for Usher's like album release party or something. That joint was out of control. He was like, yo, that's my man. He got me. 
And it was like, it was crazy. It was like you, Taraji P. Henson. It like it was a, a gang uh, of people that pulled up. It, 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 I was doing like an award show or something, wasn't it? Oh, bro. What's this thing? Greystone and Emerson, if if you were in town oh, yeah, on, no, no. on a weekend, a, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. Greystone Sunday. Cisco, I took you there. We was yo, Greystone. Yeah, I remember I, I dude, that's why I'm over here like this. Mm -hmm. I thought you were getting I'm ready like to talk about <laughs> I, th I thought you were about to talk about the time I was I was fighting out in front of the club. I was about to say, hey, man, <laughs> telling people I about all this. I, I signed. I signed the NDA. I don't remember none of that. <laughs> <laughs> My man, what, what me? What me? I ain't seen nothing. <laughs> no, because yeah. they they get this R and B shit twisted sometimes. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, exactly. You In my remember, I'm like male number one. <laughs> <laughs> Right, and one more wait, real quick. I know you Come got on. your R&B Money podcast. Do you want to plug that real quick and let them know where they can get that? A couple things I can plug. Let, you, let me plug some things. You get your plug in. Okay. <laughs> uh, first of all, the R&B Money podcast, which which I'll be blessed and honored to have all of my guys on there. Absolutely. I got to have you guys on there. Um, we we doing some cool things, man. And and just like you're doing, man, giving R&B a platform and a space mm -hmm. to be heard, to be seen, um, to be expressed. To, to to get this information out to mm -hmm. to 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 keep in touch to stay in touch with what's what's legendary and what's foundational about our music and then to introduce what the new is and and, and what's coming in the future of our music mm -hmm. all of that so we got that um, we got the Babs to the bone um, uh, YouTube it's my family it's me and my family and we just being us you know what I'm saying so subscribe on YouTube my son he he's different. He's different. You got to pray for him. He's five. <laughs> How old is he? He's he five, but he got a lot of potential serial killer on, killer on him. So you got to <laughs> pray. You gotta I know pray. about that five-year-old. Oh, my you youngest pray. is five. These, these, a five -year -old. these new yeah, five-year-olds five five are different, bro. They <laughs> are. Yeah. I was a little girl I posted this morning that was doing that dance. Man, I don't Who's like five? him. I don't like <laughs> Should him. I like him? Yeah, they didn't, like, see, they didn't come up watching Bugs Bunny and shit. They watched no. something else. <laughs> right, listen, my, one of my son's favorite game is like him shooting bows and arrows and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, hey. <laughs> and we'll ask you for one for Christmas, too. Daddy, no, daddy, no. Watch, daddy, watch how I take his head off. I was like, what? <laughs> I, I, all, my, hey, all my kids are older now, but I have a grandson, right? And um, from time to time, he'll jump on. And his thing is, he likes to hit People in the nut. This out of nowhere. You just, you just, be, just be walking and they just. I'm like, dude, you, dude. If you do it one more time, I'll fuck you up. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm shit. You nuts. I'm you one, man. So look. So then one more thing. I got the EPs out, man. Make sure y'all go get mm -hmm. while you wait and uh, worth the wait. Right now, ten songs, just me on the piano, singing my heart out. Yes, uh, being honest, being as transparent, being up close and personal. And this is music that you can share with the whole family. Sometimes my music uh, is not... <laughs> when we... It's, 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 it's not family friendly. It's not always good for, you know what I'm saying, for your... <laughs> work, um, it's not always good for the underage children, amen. It's for those quiet times uh, where you are trying to reproduce and... Um, Mate is a good word that I use. Touching the great. Touching the great. Touching the great. Amen. music. Amen. Right. Hold on. One more thing. Hold on. One more thing. I don't know. Impeccable does that. We got to explain that. Yeah, because that's scaring the shit out of me. getting out of line. You go, man. One more thing before you go. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people may not know but that you was also part of um, the production team and the creative team for Aaliyah's last album. Um, just give us real quick some insight, you know, um, on how it was working with Baby Girl and not just working with her. She never treated, if she met you, she never treated anybody like a stranger. You know what I'm saying? So just give us a little insight on that, bro. Man, what was crazy is that we're in L.A. Um, you know, I'm fresh. I leave. I'm the minister of music at a church. And mm. they like, wow. they like you going to, you know, be on tour with Genuine. I'm like, okay, but I don't I don't have nobody to replace me. You know when you got a musician to replace you yet? And you don't have nobody like that. So I'm still at rehearsal. My flight leave tomorrow. I'm like, shit. Oh, no. I jump on the flight anyway. 
I'm calling from LA, like, you got to fill in for me, bro. I need you, like, for six Sundays. Anyway, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm, I'm there, and I'm with Genuine, and, you know, I was, I was about being prepared. So when me and my guys got to Genuine's rehearsal in LA, we knew every Genuine song, all mm -hmm. the background parts, top to bottom, mm -hmm. every song. Mm -hmm. So Genuine, you know how he come in, he started playing on the microphone, singing. Every right. song he sang of his, we were right behind, shoo Right. <laughs> and, and he was like, Y'all know that one? I say, like, Yeah, we know everything. Uh -huh. So you know, you know how hype genuine get genuine like, I'm gonna kill this all too. I got the best right, right, right. Got, right. Best. right. So he he tells the Lee, like, Lee, you gotta come to my rehearsal. I got the best background singers on the tour. I'm a, I'm killing, right? So Aaliyah walks into the rehearsal. Aaliyah and all her hair and and her back sweats and her glasses. I'm like, that's I, that's Aaliyah. That's, mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. Aaliyah right there. Right. And, I, and, I, and I look at my fellas. I'm like this. Come on, shoopy doop this thing. We <laughs> 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 gotta sing the best shoop and the best shoop. doop you got. <laughs> your best shoop and doop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we we start singing, and <laughs> Aaliyah, and Aaliyah is like blown away, and um, and so after we finish singing, you know, we we go over and kind of introduce ourselves, and you know, I've 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 you know, meeting Aaliyah was just like I. I didn't know what to say. I was just like, hi, it's really good to meet you. She's like, no, it's good to meet you. Where are you from? And yeah. she started interviewing me. Right, right. And, <laughs> and it was like, she wanted to get to know me, not more than I wanted to get to know her, but it felt like just as much. I was like, yeah, mutual I was like, respect. It was, yeah, it was, she was like that, was, man. And she was like inviting. She's like, you know, I love you guys. Like, you guys are dope. And so I got to, I might hire you guys for me. And she fired two people oh, and hired me. And my other guy, Jonathan. We love to see it. And so, she she might have been nice, but she was still a businesswoman. You know she, does? she was like, she like, give me why I got some singers. I need two of them. And so right. she hired us. And from there, it was just like, it was just like family. She was like, like one day she was like, I'm about to go get my hair done. Thank y'all want to come? I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do while you get here. Yeah, we can figure something out. We can out, but I, yeah, I want to go. You know what I mean? And so from there, it was just like she was always in my corner. She always had my back. She was always with. She would always like see you like you like the one man Jodeci of R and B. And see what you need to do, Tank, is you need to make sure that your style. Like she was all of that involved. Wow. I, I walk yeah. in the studio one day. <clears throat> it's uh. It's Jonte Austin um, in the studio with Aaliyah. We were coming down just to check on her. And I walk in. As soon as I walk in, she say, Tank can do it. And then Jonte oh. says, Tank can do it. And I say, what the fuck can Tank do? <laughs> <laughs> right? And so what came of that was, oh, oh. 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 Yeah. And so it was like that. And so... You know, we working, going in different directions at this point because I'm doing my thing, trying to do my thing. She's really doing her thing. Mm. And and they're like, Aaliyah wants you to write for her on a new album. And I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, wow. Black black and Smoke, y'all had already been been doing the thing. You know what I'm saying? And so my desire was to hopefully one day, you know what I'm saying, be able to write and be in the studio and somebody could say, take, you know, we need you to write. I was like, I was just hoping. And. They was like, Aaliyah wants you to do some songs. And I'm like, it's all cool. She want to talk to you. She want to talk to me about wow. it. <laughs> she want to she wanna talk to me about it. And oh, so that's serious, we man. We got on the phone and she just discussed. She was like, you know, I, I'm, a, you know I'm a woman now. And people, I want people to understand that I'm grown. You know what I'm saying? And that, mm -hmm. you know, I, 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 live, I live a grown life. And these things are happening. These things mm -hmm. are happening. She's like, and I want you to write from that perspective. I want you to. Mm -hmm. And so I, I. I never knew she had hands on like that. Nah, really? she definitely like that. She when 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 man static and smoke was working, she would be like, whatever y'all like. I told y'all, whatever you y'all want to do, I'm gonna try it. We'll go as far left as you want to go left. Which mm -hmm. me being a street cat was mm -hmm. like, oh okay, well we are gonna go all the way. <laughs> all the way. 
<laughs> we don't move it and wait. What's what yeah. we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I put but I, I wrote a, I wrote a song called I Can Be, and you know the ex, the extent of that lyric is I can be the other woman in your life, and this was way before Scissors Weekend. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and so and so I, I I was like, let me push the line, let me just see. And yeah. she was like, I love it. And it wasn't glorifying being the other woman. It's just sometimes you just find yourselves in positions you never thought you would be in, oh, wow. and you just end up trying to figure out how to make the most of them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that, kind of, that kind of thing. And so, and then, I, uh, <laughs> um, you know what? <laughs> like again, it happens like, 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 you know. <laughs> Are you fan of it? I'm just saying, you 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 spoke to a part of me that was like, wait a minute. Sometimes no. you just find yourself in. You know what I'm saying? In some dirt. You don't know. Right. In it. some mud. And, if, and since you in the mud, you might as well just start, you know. Revel in it. Make mud pie. Make mud pie. Make the best of that mud. See, <laughs> you find the way out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, man. Yo, we want to thank you for coming through, man. It's been a blast, bro. Man, it was man. I thought I I thought I knew it was some stuff I didn't know, man. And and whenever you're ready for us to come on your show, please let us know. Um, once again, let everybody know where they can see you on social media. Um, at the real tank. Before I go, I just want to say this. I want to give you brothers your flowers. You know, I always do, but uh, every time I see you, I want to make sure I give you brothers flowers. Um, you know, player, y'all was already out and rocking. Y'all were on the bus talking about the single. Y'all would have been on the BET doing the cheers to you and the whole thing. I was already like, okay, oh, those guys right there, those are real guys. Those are real guys. <laughs> <laughs> those are real guys. I've, al I've always loved you, brothers, and looked up to you guys from the beginning. Um, thank you, thank you for everything, Cisco. I, I was I was a whippersnapper on the road, you know what I'm saying, watching you, watching you murder every night, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, Watching you go back and forth with who I think uh, arguably one of the, one of the greatest performers ever, you and Genuine going back and forth every yeah. night. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And then and then when we was on tour together, when we was when we did a couple shows together, I was I would be like, man, who out there right now? Oh, Tank out there. He he playing the keyboard. Well, well, Smoker play the key. Wait, he just took his shirt off. Okay. <laughs> Uh, right, what no, the fuck does that mean? No, I don't want to go on that. I don't want to go on that. I'll blow this motherfucker up. <laughs> this Negro out there playing the keyboard with no sound. I'm not <laughs> doing that. He no. won't off the shirt for that one. Just, just, just. What is wrong with you, Smoke? Hey. Look, look. That's, that's why I got on the hoodie. <laughs> Cover up my muscles. All right. I was I was gonna do the one-handed cartwheel, but I was like, you know, I gotta save that. That's disrespectful. <laughs> if I do the one-handed cartwheel before before the headliner, I'm damn, man. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't wait to come on your show as well. Give it up one more time right here. Tank, ladies and gentlemen. Love you, brother, man. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Love you guys, man. Keep Thank on. You, man. Let's go. Now time for the smoking section. If it's hot, we on it. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Cisco Live, where music is alive. You can catch it when you want it. You can catch it when it's live. I'm your host, Cisco. It's As always, my co-host, Smoke Black and DJ Mr. Lee on the ones and twos, letting you know the feel for the quarantine blues is right here, letting you know what it do, what it do. Smoke in the smoking section. What's popping? Yes, sir. We are back. It's Friday. Thank God yes. it's Friday. What is it? 12, 13, 12. 31. Okay. <laughs> so 12. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, the shit. <laughs> Hold up. So I'm I'm real happy today uh just to announce to everybody that uh we're gonna do some fat boy shit again. Especially hey, hey, all hey, these motherfucking muscles and shit that came in. You got C McGee, then you got Tank and Cisco. Me. Went at me as if like I don't have no muscles, but <laughs> okay. don't worry about it. No, <laughs> what? Oh, I got muscles. Don't act like you see out there playing the keyboard with his fucking shirt off. I got muscles, bro. I would I never muscles. do that. I would never do that. He was out there. No, he was playing. He was singing, and his shirt was off. I said, because yeah. at first I was trying to. I had wanted to go on after him, but then when I saw the shirt, the shirt off. <laughs> Keyboard playing, I was like, 
you know what? I'm not taking off my shirt. Today. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'll bet so off. <laughs> okay, watch this. What? Oh, Philly cheese steak. Philly cheese steak. I do that in front of y'all just so y'all can get the real true reaction from me. <laughs> I'm scared of these. I ain't gonna lie. What, what do you do? They fall. You think like a real cheese steak or? It tastes just like a real cheese. It tastes like a cheesecake off the, a cheesecake, a cheesesteak off the grill. Oh. I, taste, I taste the grill on this motherfucker. Oh, man. Hold up. They, they put the soul of a cheesesteak sub into the potato chip. They, they did. A lot of, a lot of cheesesteaks had to die. Uh-oh. What is that? Hot chicken. Nashville, Nashville hot chicken. Nashville hot chicken and regular. This is from Nashville. Fuck these. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. Back to Nashville. I ain't no spicy fan, no way. Shouts out the juice. That nigga will eat. Wait, what is that? What you you open it? Oh, I didn't even show you yet. Look. Wait, wait. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day, damn it. Nashville out of space. What's that? Cat uh oh, kettle cook. Oh uh, yeah, I feel New York style I mean, pizza. We'll see. Go ahead. New Let's... York style pizza. I am in no way. Crunchy one. I do not like kettle cooked chips. I don't like, we'll the, kettle, yeah. I don't like the extra cr extra crispy. Extra dry. Yo, you know what? I had some um wrap snacks that I had opened up because I was hungry. What they taste like? No. He said no. Fuck them. <laughs> I thought he was going to say something good. I, I did. It was, fuck them. Good. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we told you stay away from no yeah, yeah, stay away New York pizza and the Nashville. So basically, if it's from a city, it's probably gonna taste like trash from that yeah. city. Like, yeah, like that city's dump and waste. Uh, <laughs> but no, I just can't get with a potato chip that's made of potatoes with pizza seasoning on it. It don't uh but wait, I'm saying, but what about the 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 the, the Philly cheese? Was it Philly cheese day? Yeah, that motherfucker was good. I can see putting Okay, okay. Up. So what? So I mean, because think about it. You'll eat a Philly cheese steak with some fries. Right, because I have made a statement. I want to recant that statement because I said if it have a if it's coming from a city, it probably tastes like trash. But I that's guess I was wrong. Yeah, on that. It, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if it's Philly cheese steak, then it tastes good. Yo, right. have y'all tasted those wrap snacks yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. I, I had I, I had tasted the ones that had Cardi B on them. And mm -mm. I, I wasn't feeling no. Was, see, see, see. You said I like the Migos ones though. The Migos ones, ones, I had those sure. too. I wasn't kind of set me like up. Under, like you almost set me up, Cisco. You almost set me up. It tastes a little bit like an armpit. You said <laughs> something. You said something about <laughs> Cardi B. Like, and I, I never licked the armpit, but I have smelt the armpit, and I would imagine. <laughs> And it tastes like that damn chip. <laughs> you set me up, Cisco. Uh, Wait, I mean, you know, bring out my whole tongue. Yeah. I, well, you, you said something about Cardi B and being nasty, and I almost. I, oh no, no, no! I'm, no, don't, I like don't, Cardi B. I, I, was I like saying, Cardi B. You know, I like Cardi. Like I like Cardi B too, but it, <laughs> it was. It was said. I don't, I don't know personally, so don't nobody go say black said because black didn't say. But oh yeah, I, I heard about a few that. months ago the the twerk win. I, I know, you know where you going with this. Okay, mm. so but I'm not. You know, um, we ain't gonna go there because I would love to do a song with Cardi B. So if it ain't if it ain't grip, if it ain't Grippo's chips, if it ain't yes Grippo, sir. Nah, see I got I'm from Baltimore, so I go with the Uts. What is, what is that? What is that? Big red. Chip you know, that's you big know, red. You know, that's big red. Nigga, what are you big red about? in a bag of uh, uh grippo chi barbecue chips. Wrap that is big red. Yeah, that's, the that's only big better. red I know is the is the is the chewing gum that tastes like breath. 
I'm taking a preemptive hit here. <laughs> we still got a show to do. We got oh. Faith. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. We got we got caught up. We got caught up. Let's do the five on it. Then, then, then. Right. We're going to do the yes, five on the mix. And we also got the Fan Friday right here on Cisco Live. Let's go. We skipping the mix, man. Black. Okay. We skipping the mix. Come on. We're blacking it out. My fault. Let's check it out. We're going to be real quick. You know what I'm saying? For, for those who don't know, in the blackout, we're going to talk about Mr. Herman Cain. Rest in peace. Um, passed yesterday of COVID. Um, I'm not, have never been a fan of his, you know what I'm saying? Um, but he's a brother of the past, so I'm going to give him some flowers. But I, what I will say is what is really directed towards the president. So the president, so he went to the president's, he, they think he contracted at the president's, um, rally in Tulsa. There was oh, no man. match worn. The man gets COVID and, you know, the, you know, Mr. Mr. Kane dies. And I'm, I'm saying to the president, man, like, come on, man. You, you seem like now you're trying to kill us, man. It seems like the moves you making, man, is trying to, you ain't, you ain't, you know, you're giving out false information. You're giving out bullshit numbers and, mm -hmm. and, and you're blocking stuff. You know what I'm saying? You even went as far as to say if, if these um, uh, states don't allow kids to go back to school, you're going to stop the funding that's helping keeping mm -hmm. these yeah, cities and states uh, uh, um, uh, uh, alive and, 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 and just, you know, what they can just do something simple is just take care of themselves, man. You need to go and follow a, a rusty butter knife, man. For real, a screwdriver. Make sure it's rusty, so when they go in, you get a little extra, you know. <laughs> uh, extra. Oh man, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm for real, man. I'm for real, and I'm I'm quick and I'm done with it. But man, he, you know, you are in charge of lives, man. I don't think he really understands that, man. Or he don't give a shit. Either way, man, slip and fall on a rusty butter knife, man. One of your guys that was riding with you. Mm -hmm. right, man, and you still on the bullshit, man. You still yeah. on the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hey, Black, Speaking of that, man, I, I I would like to uh next week I would like to talk about Brianna Taylor some more because um I had heard uh the basically the breakdown of, of of what happened um that night in her case, and uh I'll, I'll talk to y'all about it off air. But man, I would really like to go in depth into that whole case and maybe we could maybe walk through it in hopes to educate more people about what actually happened and why people are so upset and 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 hopefully you know um have an opportunity to show people you know educate them and show them why um our community is so up in arms about that and, mm -hmm. and the reason why i brought that up is because what you were saying how it just seems like people don't care about about the things that's happening with us and in our community um and and how it's affecting us and so uh, i would like to do that next week so y'all um please remind me um you guys out there that's watching or listening please remind us um if if, if we don't come right up on it i think we should talk about it or at least start the show with it on monday um uh, right now we're going to do a quick musical break when we get back we got the fan friday right here on cisco live Bringing you all the social media and entertainment news. Let's go. It's the social media report with Rochelle. Hey, oh, okay. Hey, Rochelle. I didn't know. I, you know, you was uh, you know, came through with with uh. Oh, with I had to. Y'all couldn't have him on here not have. I didn't know you came back to work today, but <laughs> I'm always working. First of all, <laughs> no promos don't make themselves, do they? Nope. Right. Let's make it happen. What's popping? Hey, man, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So, you know, we're going to keep it cute. So I ain't got, I don't got no news today because it is two minutes before the show is over. So we're going to get straight to these fans. It's Let's fan there we go. Friday. Friday. Hold on. Bam. All right. There you go. We love to see it. So the first fan we're going to bring out is Valeria. Valeria. Hey. 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 Hello. Hello. How you doing, Valeria? Where are you from? Oh, good. Oh, she's so cute. Hey, girl. Hey, where are you from? Hey, hey. I'm from Montreal, Canada. Montreal, Canada. Coming all the way. We love the international fans. Oui, oui, bien sûr. Ooh. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> That's all I got. Okay. So, you know, it was, you know, it's a bunch of people who are vying for being on here every week. You yeah. stood out because you said that you wrote fan fictions mm -hmm. back in the day. So, <laughs> Cisco, did you know about the fan fictions that were being I don't written? really know what that is all okay. the way. I, I feel like you want to tell them the fan fiction. Idea, but yeah. to enlighten myself and all of the listeners and watchers of Cisco Live. What is fan fiction? Fan fiction is when you are so enraptured and enamored by and moved by the art that is created, wow. that you must express it in a way that uh, sometimes takes the form of uh, short stories. Wow. Yes. Sometimes sensual, most of the time, just very wholesome and sweet. And I actually found an old article from uh, the CMJ New Music Monthly Magazine dated August 2000 about the site that I contributed to called Simply Cisco. What? Wow. The Simply Cisco site has an area where fans can write and post their own serialized fiction themed around the flamboyant entertainer. Wow. Is, is this for real? A writer named Mystery Girls, Mystery Girl with a G-Y-R-L. -Y <laughs> 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 She describes romanticized encounters with the singer and her thong that are, well, dial them up yourself, tile off, continue reading, and then <laughs> Oh my, I remember Simply Cisco. Yes. I remember I was, I was trying to remember if that was my side. I think I had addicted to Cisco and addicted yes. to I was about to say Rochelle, was that, did you create that song? That was, no, but I knew the creator, but like I was, I was in all of those fan groups and all that. That's how I got started. Wow. So wow. yeah, and I was writing fan fictions too. And it's it's crazy because like, you know, when, know. when you write stuff, like for me, it was like when you write stuff, it's like mm -hmm. you're manifesting it. And for me, that's what happened. Like with, with knowing you, Cisco, and working with you, I felt like it's because I wrote some fan fictions that kind of <laughs> like actually the universe. even down to a girlfriend that you had a long time ago. Like I had written her name and her description and stuff in, in my story like 15 years ago. Then I was wow. like, oh my gosh, she really exists. So, <laughs> Thank you very much. It's, it was man, it was crazy, but that's what made you stand out because I'm like fan fictions. Who who was actually writing fan fictions? Oh, yes. you find out. she Let got find out. She got the very know about this. What do you know about this right here? Both of them. There you go. Tapping all in. back there. I have Woody's album and I have all, all types of like singles that I got off of eBay as well, but they're all in my mom's house somewhere. So oh my gosh. Yeah, awesome. I have three classes awesome. right here for now. Well, Valeria, thank you. Hey, don't don't go nowhere. Um stay, yeah. stay backstage. We'll have you come back for the VIP party. Um, because we we're at the end of the show, we want to get to our second fan. But yeah. just stick around, we're gonna hang out a little bit more. Is that good? Anything for you, Cisco. Oh. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> That's the energy we love. Oh, she's precious. Okay, so the next fan we're going to bring out is Felicia. Hi, hi. Felicia. Not by Felicia, but hi, Felicia. Hi, hi Cisco. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Where you coming from? New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, hey. Yeah. Hey. It just started to drizzle a little bit. I'm in my backyard, but it started to drizzle a little bit. But the drizzle. It's cool. I'm an umbrella. So. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in, in Jersey, weren't we fellas? Well, we had just did a show in Jersey before the pandemic. Oh, we, in Atlantic City? Nah, mm -hmm. where was it? Where was it, fellas? I forget, but that we were supposed to be in Atlantic City and that got canceled due to... Yeah, I wanted yeah. to go to that show. I was like so excited and everything. No, it didn't get canceled. It got postponed. Oh, okay. So we, we will let you know when we uh, reschedule. I mean, when the reschedule, we will... Definitely post it. So make sure you guys go on youtube.com slash Cisco Live to, to know all of the mm -hmm. smoking black dragon and Cisco news. But do you have a question or something? Yeah. Um one, one question is um first off, like um, when did you realize that you're a great singer? Like what at what point did you know that you could sing? Like it's just, it's just, because you have an amazing voice. So it's like oh thank you. I don't you. know how someone realizes that. <laughs> Like, did someone come to you and tell you, or no? Um, well, I mean, yes, me <laughs> as an artist, right? As as an artist, um, um, like you know, Tank was saying, it's it's kind of one of those things where you never really feel like you've actually made it or you have uh, it, if you will. Um, when you're a true artist, you just do the best you can to continue to grow a, as an artist. So I never really, you know 
pat myself on the back like that unless I feel like I had to like pick up for myself. Like if I feel like it was a scenario where they was like leaving me out of the conversation and then I had to say something like what I said in 2001 when I was like, uh, I said I could outsing everybody in my class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was misconstrued to yes. I could outsing anybody ever, which um, I absolutely did not say. Well, I agree with your statement. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, so I, didn't, I didn't say that though, but I, but yeah, yeah, yeah. To clear that up. It was, from yeah, a thousand I years ago. I was basically <laughs> just saying that, just like what Smoke was saying yesterday, when it comes to singing, you know, live and bringing it. I just wanted to let people know, you know, don't get thong song confused with, with you know, where we, you know, come from as artists, as singers. We sing, you know, from the heart, from the soul. Right. And that's why I always say music is alive because, you know, you in order to be an artist, you got to live with the music. You got to grow with the music. So I hope that answered your question. Yes, it definitely did. Thank you. Awesome. Um, awesome. That's what's up. So you want to hang out, hang at the, at, the, at the party with us? Yeah, sure. That's what's up. Because we got to wrap the show up. We went a little bit over because Tank was an incredible, incredible. Amazing. Yeah. Uh-huh. We got Valeria. We got Felicia. We got myself, Cisco, Smoke Black, Rochelle, and DJ Mr. Lee keeping everything glued together right here on Cisco Live. We will be back with y'all on Monday. Uh, like I said, we're going to get into... Um, man, this that Brianna Taylor story. I really want to want to go in depth with that because it was some things that I found out today that I didn't know, and I feel like uh, if we can educate more people about that scenario, I would love to, so that hopefully we can get people to understand why it's such a serious situation, and you know we need to do the best we can to find a solution to it. Um, so uh, I think that's our show. Can we have Reverend come on real quick? Uh no we 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 gonna go to do everything on the um in the after party in, on the back end absolutely yeah, cool. uh if, or actually actually smoke I think you're right let's have Kevin come on and do uh the uh impeccable moment. moment so we can go into the oh, impeccable moment Ooh. <laughs> impeccable <laughs> moment Okay, good. <laughs> hey, I, I, I need you to record that smoke. <laughs> and a lot of part, a lot of part of the East Coast, it is raining, which you know I, I kind of lean on the show and the spirit trying to figure out what I'm going to say every day. Some things I have ready, and then some things I just go. But when she said it was raining, uh, and I just talked to my mom and said it was raining too, and it made me think about the seed. You know, the seed, you guys know what a seed is. And what I'm talking about, the seed faith is letting go of something you have been giving in order to create something else that you've been promised. A lot of times people don't know that a seed provides a harvest. So seed is using something else that you have created to give something, to get something you want. So your seed is what blesses somebody else, right? So this is just real simple. And your harvest is anything that blesses you. Again, you see, it could be used in time, uh, in love, monetarily. You know what I mean? You can put that seed out. Sometimes people think seed is only about money, but it's not. It's about something that blesses somebody else. So your seed is something that blesses somebody else, and your harvest is something that blesses you. Mm-hmm. So keep sowing those seeds. You'll keep seeing those harvests. It's like a it's like a cycle just of currency. Right. Mm-hmm. Make sure that the seed that you plant is positive so that you don't get a giant shit plant. <laughs> God has spoken. Let the church say it. Anyway, if you're in financial trouble right now and you think it's no other way, now is the time to get those seeds going. And it might not be money. It might just be calling somebody you can't see who's lonely. Our seniors out there are lonely. They would love a phone call from you right now just to see how you do see how they're doing. Mm. Just to tell them about the grandkids. Just, you know what I mean? Get those seniors on FaceTime seeing people. They are lonelier than ever at this moment. Oh, no. So that is your impeccable moment. Stop being selfish. Next thing is, I'm about to say, Smokey, you need to start playing so, the piano real lightly. Strong, uh, please. Thank you very much. We're going to pass the collection plate around. We like the kind of money 
that Jimmy would rather have the Connie kind of Foles. I am Cisco. <laughs> that's impeccable. Smoke Black, DJ Mr. Lee, and the most beautiful, most loving. I'm just joking. I was talking about Tank. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, Rochelle. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we want to thank. We want to thank Tank for coming on. Also, our fans that came on, Valeria and Felicia, as well as our um, announcer, Killer. And we will be back on Monday with Cisco Live. And that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. See you in a minute in the uh, VIP section, the after party. Peace. Radio Rashid. Yeah. I'm going to love. Hey guys! Oh, hey! Uh, you got energy! <laughs> oh, Killer, Killer, Rufus said, What's up? Rufus the dog. Said, what's up? This looks like the damn Brady Bunch. Right. Here's the story. Well, I got Welcome to the after party, the VIP section. I got my myself, Cisco, Smoke, Black, DJ Mr. Lee, Rochelle, Impeccable, uh, Radio Rashid, uh, Valeria, and Alex. Alicia. Brad, Brenda, hey, Jamie. <laughs> Daughter. After party. Radio Rashid, what you got to say about brother? Well, on my rant today. Illustrious. Uh, can y'all hear me? Can, can you yeah, hear me? Yeah, I, I, I want to rant today. I want to talk to everybody out there about mm-hmm. grown folks putting all their damn business on Facebook and social media. Oh. Let me tell you something. <laughs> if you can't control your own personal physical life, you can't control your physical life. Stay your ass off Facebook. You can't do a social media. You don't need no social media because your your whole life is messed up. You don't need two lives. That's a virtual life. Life. Get your stuff together. Then you got the women on there telling all the information about their relationship. Then when somebody oh, sneak man. in or do something, they got something to say. And fellas do the same thing. You're on there just because you got hit for child support. You're on the a social media calling your woman all kind of hoes and this. She wasn't no hoe when you was planting them seeds. Son. Oh. So let me tell you something. Stop putting all your Good business call, on man. social media. Zip your lip. Live your life. Get your real physical life in control first and then move on to some facebook or instagram TikTok, whatever you want to do but get your life in order that's all i got to say that's hey, watch that brow who he let us have didn't he right sure did. I heard no sure life. Did. <laughs> how about you, how about you larry and felicia about um, <laughs> no i just wanted to know do you want to add something oh oh um, yeah, Valeria, do you have a question or anything that you wanted to share? Because you didn't get to ask questions. Do you have any questions? Oh my God. <laughs> let me let me just get back into my 15-year-old spell. Oh, how about you, Felicia? <laughs> yes. Um, Cisco, I wanted to ask you, do you actually listen to your own music? Because that's Ooh, one child. thing I've always wondered. Oh, because no. your music is essential, like in a lot of people's lives and inspires so many people in so many ways. So I can imagine, I can't imagine you having someone mm-hmm. else. I mean, I know there are other people before you, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's so funny that you asked that question. And um, to be honest, uh, no. Um, what happens is we spend so much time creating the music um, that we put out that once it's out, I kind of, dude, it's like, I don't, I literally be like, don't want to hear my own music. Really? Like, you know Nah, I want to hear the new stuff and, and but, come up with some new stuff. Now, granted, every once in a while, I'll go and I'll just listen to everything all over again. I'm, uh, and, you know, I'll be like, okay, yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, but it's so emotional, man. Like, for instance, like, I, I can't even watch the I Love You video at all without, you know, tearing up a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or like, you know, when it comes to songs like from my album, like Dream. To the dream of time. Dude, I can't even listen to that record without, you know, when 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 she, when uh Sheree come in when That's for one I'm like, man, I just gotta take a step back. Like, wait, wait, just what give me a second. <laughs> you know, you, you know what you know what a lot of it is too, uh, Cisco. When What's you that? work out 
Felicia, when you're working on the music, you listen to it so many times because right. you may be yeah. doing, um, mix or whatever. So where your ears really get, it's, it's bad to say because it's your music, but your ears really get probably tired of hearing it. So yep. Yep. When, when, you, when you want like um, inspirational music or something that you can listen to when you're going through something or any, you know, any kind of mood you're in, you know, it's, it's like I listen to your music. So I wonder if, other, and a lot of people do so. I was just wondering right. if, if you listen to your own music, but yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I listen to old. It, it's almost like the older the better, right, fellas? Mm -hmm. it's, like, mm -hmm. man, it's like when I when I'm in a mood or something, or I, or I need like some kind of, I, I want to feel a certain way, man. I go back to the Michaels and the yes. Prince and you know and and, and Jackson Five and you know yeah. uh, Stevie Wonder, mm -hmm. um, old yeah, Baby Ruffin, Tim mm -hmm. T. Uh, Ozzy I, brother, like know. something old, like I mean, like old school, like before us, boys to men, Jonesies, somebody else. Yeah. I mean, oh, I'm okay. I mean, I mean trying to see how fast I can turn my own music off, unless it's the new stuff. Because I feel like <laughs> listening to the new stuff to see to make sure that it can fit in the catalog with the with the class. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you, Valeria. You look like you had something yeah. to say. I'm ready. <laughs> um, so, so you you're my favorite uh, male singer performer, and um, like as I was listening to your music, I was still developing my taste. So you were a big part of uh, my um, like how I discovered soul and really old wow. um, and, and gospel as well. At the time, I started to listen to like Mary Mary. So yes. I was wondering, my my favorite female singer is Amy Winehouse. Mm. Um, oh, oh yeah, she's she's good. And I was wondering, yeah, just just for my personal curiosity, mm -hmm. like, what do you think of her? Do you like her music? Like, I just yes. hear her such a. She just distills so much of the jazz standard yes. into one like concentrated. Yes, I, yes I, I really, I really can appreciate um, what what uh, Amy does. Amy Winehouse does as an artist. Um, my favorite, my favorite artist. Uh, we were talking about Brandy earlier. I love Brandy. What's up, brother? Um, uh, C. McGee's in the house. Um, uh, Brandy, as well as uh, uh, Jasmine Sullivan, man. If mm -hmm. y'all have yes, listened to them, that's yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey, guys, let me tell you <laughs> Listen, whenever, whenever we do a show with her, Lord, please make it happen. Um, please. Right. please, somebody call Jasmine going, Sullivan. Man, don't even worry about it, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be something like this. Uh, boys, put your mom on the phone. <laughs> um, <laughs> not gonna be able to come home like she does her vocal her, do her, her, to you, right of a vocal man does does something to my it's whole ridiculous. inside man. yeah me, me too, too. And, and me we too. Have to get Maya on here too I, mm -hmm. I don't know I'm 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 gonna ask her I, I think she does she's doing something something too so maybe we can swap and she can come on here and I can go on there something mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but Amy Winehouse yes absolutely Gone too soon. Definitely yes. gone too. Definitely anybody gone. else? We all got to, um C McGee. You, you you got something to add to the VIP conversation before we dip? Oh man, no, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this, uh, My G. Yeah. Yo, somebody somebody thought that I lived. Uh, you, you said you live in uh, uh, in Canada, correct? Yeah, Montreal. Somebody, somebody thought because C McGee, remember when we was living in Canada when we were shooting um, "Get Over It," oh. and somebody had True. that old address and thought that that's where I still live. Yeah, have you heard that people think that he lives in Ed Edmonton? Right. That's yeah, what, that's, that's ridiculous. I, I don't know what that child. I don't know where that. You know, came from. Hey, you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? Watch this, what? Cisco. Some guy is being Cisco in Edmonton. And he's having a good time, brother. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pulling out the thing. Oh, have a good time. Oh, we don't. The weird thing is like five ten and he's white, so I don't know what's going on. Yo, remember when I was telling y'all about that 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 uh that picture that that dude took? Um, and, and I mean the the tattoo that that dude. Oh, had, on his chest. Yeah, I found that picture. What? Yeah, I, I found that picture. Let me let me see if I can find it. I'm about to say you ain't send it to us. No, I didn't because I uh oh look look man I, it's a couple of pictures I found. Oh snap, okay. 
Oh, that's that's no Aaliyah. Yo, <laughs> looking like a prom date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite girl. Take it up, Akeem. Yeah, I can't yeah. find it, but when I when I find it, I will definitely. <laughs> Yeah, share that with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. Felicia, Valeria, thank you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you, ladies. And Friday, we want to thank Tank. Uh, we want to thank Killer. We want to thank. <laughs> I, I keep, I, I keep having to remember it's Mr. McGee now. We got because <laughs> I want to call you your old name. Impeccable, uh, Smoke Black. Rochelle, DJ Mr. Lee, uh, thank you. And we will see you guys on Monday. Make sure YouTube.com slash on YouTube.com slash Cisco Live. And we'll see y'all on Monday. Have a great weekend. We love y'all. Peace. Let's get the 500 Peace. followers. Let's go. Let's go, Lee. <laughs>